Hello? Hello, Mr. Shones? Yes. Could you hold for a moment for Senator Michael Nazolio? I sure can. Senator Nizzolio, call me back. Yes. I have the senator for you. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon. This is Mike Nizzolio. I understand you called my office. I did. Yeah, I'm returning your call. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, senator, I just wanted to say I'm very frustrated uh, and, and disappointed in the events of Friday. Your office and Senator Flanagan's office and Senator Seward's office uh, trying to present that something had been done on the SAFE Act when indeed nothing had actually been done. Well, uh, I don't know how you came to that conclusion uh, regarding nothing, uh, but uh, I'd be glad to discuss it with you if uh, uh, you're willing to listen. Uh, I will listen if you're willing to listen after, sure. is inaccurate uh, and I've, been, uh, I've done nothing but try to move the ball down the field regarding uh, chipping away at the SAFE Act. I voted against it. I've tried to get repeal legislation established uh, even though we have thousands of signatures. Uh, no one is supporting uh, repeal other than a handful of members of the state senate. Uh, but we had been successful this year in getting a five-provision legislative measure through the state Senate that uh, outright repeals a number of the provisions of the SAFE Act, including the uh, repeal of the ammunition database, the section where Internet sales are banned, the ability Everything's to step in the right direction. I'm sorry, you don't see it that way. Well, Senator, uh, first off, NYSERPA has already come out and backed off their support because they have acknowledged that there was really nothing done. Uh, they're, they've taken statements off their Facebook page because uh, I don't have a law degree, but I don't need one to look at that memorandum and know that there was no action on the online ammo ban sales. Governor Cuomo came out and confirmed that the next day in a statement that that, that, that is not the case. The, the ammo background check database, nothing was done on that. It is delayed, but it was delayed before. It's, as soon as the uh, superintendent of the state trooper signs off on that, that database goes into effect. That was the exact same, that's been the same since 2013, that's been the same status. Uh, there was nothing to present that somehow you and Senator Flanagan and someone else did something to change that is a misrepresentation and it really is you are taking me for a fool and the rest of the gun owners in this state and uh, that is we are not fools I can read and I understand you know when the governor comes out the next day and harpoons uh, your attempt to make it sound like you did work to, to do something on the SAFE Act and says there is no change to the online ammo sales. There is no change. This database is going into effect is when it's set up and it's ready and it gets um, signed off on by the state superintendent. This is no change at all, but it's being presented as those two things were changed. Um, frankly, uh, the governor's going to have a harder time administratively now. now he still may do it. Uh, but he's got a harder time because he has this MOU than he would if he didn't have it. And uh, it, it does, again, put the onus uh, on the, uh, the focused budgetary agendas uh, that you can't move forward unless you have full funding of something like this. Yeah, again, you seem like a very uh, knowledgeable person who's looked into this, and I know you're mad, but so am I. And, and the, the anger, I guess, is, is should be geared towards the people that put us in the circumstance in the first place, not the people that are trying to get us out of it. Would that be Dean Scalos for letting the SAFE Act hit the floor in the first place for a vote? You know, you think that's your, your opinion. No, that's, that's not an opinion. Matter. He could have tabled that. It's, is, it is not an opinion, all, Senator. They did not have the majority in 2013. They certainly did have the majority. Dean Scalos was not the leader in 2013 that had uh, the majority of votes. It was a Democrat coalition 
it doesn't matter. He could have tabled it. Or, uh, that was the only. It was a Republicans, Democrats, and a coalition. Well, that coalition joined the other Democrats and got the measure on the floor. That's uh, through the governor's uh, in cahoots with the governor, which was established through a message of necessity. So, you know, I I, I guess you're angry at. Republicans, it sounds like, and Skelos in particular. But let's analyze that vote. That vote, every single Democrat voted for the measure. It passed because the Democrats put that through. If, if, if no Republicans voted for it, it still would have gone through because the, the Democrats had the majority, and every single Democrat voted for that measure. Um, no, it's a, it's a question of simple math. There are 63 members of the Senate uh, at the time. Uh, there are 32 Democrats. Uh, they had the uh, majority. And uh, Senator, they did not have the majority. That is not true. Senator Dean Skelos was the majority leader in the Senate through that coalition that was set up and could have tabled that. And any pretense no, that, that that is not true is a no, lie and it's an insult. I voted against Speak, speaking of majority, can I ask you a couple of questions? Uh, now that we agree there's a solid majority for Republicans within the Senate. Um, a solid majority is, excuse me, no, I don't agree with a solid majority. Okay, well, there is a majority. Can we, can we agree there is a majority in the Senate? Senator? Yes. Uh, can we agree that there's a majority in the Senate for the Republicans a right one now? one vote majority, yes. Uh, you sat and promised. And at, one at, of the votes couldn't show up because uh, he, he was uh, almost terminally ill, or virtually terminally ill during the session this year. That's Tom Libus. So we basically have been dealing with a 31 Republicans uh, throughout the uh, legislative process, including uh, the measure that we ended up getting through. We got it through even with uh, not having uh, a Republican majority. You are currently speaking of of budgetary, uh, stopping things monetarily uh, within the SAFE Act. Um, why then did you vote for a budget that fully funds the SAFE Act and fully funds uh, Common Core and things that you promised, that you pledged that you were not going to vote for? That's totally inaccurate. It is not inaccurate. You voted for the full budget the way it was presented. But the, the budget did not fund uh, let's talk about the SAFE Act funding. Oh, my goodness, Senator. You must think that your constituents no, 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 are, you, are you, morons. Every line of the budget, every single line. And I, I ask you to show me one reference to the SAFE Act in the state budget. That's a cop-out, and you know it. No, it isn't. Uh, the, the, we, it, two years ago, well, it, okay, it, it, if, if, if you're willing to listen, I'm willing to talk and explain it. Two years ago. Well, you're great at explaining. You're just not, don't seem to be really great at uh, representing things accurately. You just keep, you're, you're giving me spin on stuff and well, trying to well, convince me of things. Then, let's talk about the budget. I mean, I, I guess do you accept, you do reject everything that isn't perfect, that isn't, but do you, rather than accept things that lead you to uh, the ability to get something achieved. Senator, I'm not looking for, for something perfect. In an ideal world, I would like the full repeal, but uh, I'm not angry because I didn't get full repeal. I'm frustrated and angry because I will say again, and I know you're going to disagree with me, but Governor Cuomo apparently uh, is the only honest politician in New York right now uh, because he came right out the next day and confirmed what I can read in that memorandum of agreement, which is nothing is gone. That database, it simply says delayed until the undersigned agree. That it doesn't say that it's gone. It doesn't say anything. And it doesn't, it's certainly a memorandum of agreement does not trump law. I said it was suspended. And that it wasn't even started up. He didn't suspend Senator, anything. Senator Flanagan representing the Senate has to agree to this. That's my point. That, that's the point of the MOU. And you just confirmed it. It's, it's to stop the state police from doing the things that uh, we don't want to see them do. But you, you just said have, being majority leader in the Senate doesn't mean you can stop things going through because you said Senator Skelos couldn't stop things going through. So I don't feel any better about that. And I don't think that that's an honest representation that it is somehow delayed anything beyond what it was delayed before. And speaking of which, why is Senator Flanagan 
our Senate Majority Leader in the first place, Senator Nazolio. Senator Flanagan pulled together 10 people that had voted all in favor of the SAFE Act before. Let's see, nine. Listen, let me, let me ask you a couple of quick questions and we'll get off the, I'll, I'll let you get back to your, uh, to business here. Um, can I order ammunition online today? The lawyers are still arguing that point. They, they still are, so I cannot, this, thank you. This, yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna offer a legal opinion because- That's okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the Safe Act hotline after this and, and get their opinion, which is irrelevant too, but they're gonna tell me no. But uh, you're, you're, thank you for admitting that I, you're pretty much saying I can't order online today. Uh, also, um, was that database that, uh, am, were background checks being performed in this state before Friday for ammunition? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear. Were ammunition background checks being performed in this state before Friday? There was it? I don't believe they were. Okay, and so was that database imminent? Was there, was that about to get set up? That, well, you told me that it was fully funded. Uh, you're the one that had the opinion a few minutes ago. Yeah, they, they, they can't get the thing set up. They have no idea what they're doing. It doesn't matter if it's fully funded. They indicated to me a few minutes ago. It is fully funded. You're actually blaming me for fully funding this. Well, no, I'm blaming you for voting for a garbage budget, but which fully funded the SAFE Act. But well, the same thing is what you're saying. I said, I say to you then, what I said to you, what I'll say to you now, is that you didn't put any money in to implement database registration system and that we it, it would have been in there if uh, we but we beat it by about a vote uh, I, I think it would have been in there if they could have piggybacked the NICS system which was their original plan and since they found out that they can't piggyback the federal NICS system they have no idea what they're doing and it's just a cluster mess there and that's why it's not up it has nothing to do with you not funding it or anybody else not funding it senator I really do I I uh, clearly I am angry. I do appreciate you taking the time to call me back and to speak with me. Um, and I just, I will say, Senator, uh, it's probably in your best interest I'm not in your district because you would definitely not be getting my vote. And I, if you are primaried, I will be fully supporting uh, with whatever finances I am able to pull together uh, a primary opponent for you.